We've made many videos about AI over the past year, and every time I'm sick of talking about it, something comes along that catches my attention, and I feel compelled to talk about it. So in this video, I'll show you how to create images in real time that allow you to influence the result by painting on a canvas. Then you can upscale and enhance it for an impressive final image. Let's get into it. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I first saw a demo of this app on Twitter and I knew I had to check it out. And after being on the wait list for many weeks, I'm in. And if you wanna to join too, it's in open beta right now, so you shouldn't have to wait like I did. The site is called Crea. You can start with a text to image prompt like many other image generators out there, but as soon as you start typing, you'll immediately see an image start to populate. You can keep adjusting the prompt and see how each word affects the result. Now, by its nature, all these AI generators give pretty random results. So if you have the prompt you want, but it's not really looking like you want, well, click on the little plant icon and change the random seed and get a different result with the same prompt. You can do this as many times as you want until you get closer to what you envision. Now let's take this a step further. I'll click on image to image. This splits things into two frames. The left is a canvas and the right is the result. Start by giving the canvas background a color and see what that does to the image. From here, you can paint with a brush on the canvas with any color you want to give the AI an idea of what kind of composition you want with what objects where. You can also use geometric shapes instead of the brush. For instance, I know I want a nice rectangular window in the background, so if I draw a blue rectangle, AI is gonna make a pretty good assumption that it should be a window. And maybe I wanna add some color into the image with the couch. A pink rectangle should be good. Another really cool feature is the ability to upload your own images to the canvas. You can also remove the background of your image, but it's probably faster to do it yourself in Photoshop ahead of time. On the right hand side, you also have styles, which you can flip through to see if something sparks your imagination. Now, once you have the image in a place you are happy with, you can click the quick enhance button to get a better idea of how the final result will look. I find Quick Enhance always looks a little too HDR-y to me. So let's check out Upscale and Enhance. We again have an AI strength slider and can upscale it 2x for a 2048 by 2048 resolution. I'll click Enhance. Now this part can take a while. It depends on how many jobs ahead of you there are, but usually within five minutes, I have the final upscaled result. So I'm gonna try creating a prompt based off a shoot we did. Let's see, I'm gonna do an astronaut riding a skateboard in the salt flats. I change it to no style. There we go. That's, I don't think it knows what a skateboard is. Um, well, let's go over to image to image. The canvas color, I think um, something cooler there we go. That's about right. And that's looking a little bit more like a skateboard, almost. <laughs> I don't know why I have a hard time with a skateboard. Um, I'll try random seed. Looking a little bit more like a skateboard, less like an astronaut. <laughs> what if we did um, writing a hoverboard? That's not what a hoverboard is. An astronaut writing a futuristic hoverboard in the salt flats. Okay, I can mess with the AI strength, turn it down, all the way up. See, that's not a futuristic hoverboard, that's just like what everyone calls a hoverboard and doesn't hover. Um, maybe let's try golden hour, that's nice. Um, cool. And then, um, maybe I want the astronaut to be like more center framed here. Here's my astronaut guy. <laughs> Hoverboard. All right. <laughs> Then um, let's get like a, the sun somewhere here. Make that yellowish. Oh yeah, that's pretty. 
I'm gonna mess with the styles. Cinematic, it's kind of cool. That's a bit wild. I kind of like that. Quick enhance. I like it less now. <laughs> it was better before. Okay, I'm gonna go no style, and then we'll do up, enhance and upscale. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it, everything as is and say enhance. Let's see how many jobs are in front of this. 83 jobs ahead, so this might take a little bit. Okay, it's done enhancing. Here's the whole thing. That was pretty good. It's still a little hdr -y, but um, this looks nice. Should I count how many stripes are on this flag? It looks a little off to me. <laughs> One thing I have noticed since Korea has been in open beta is things can start slowing down or just not working altogether, which is to be expected. But for instance, the upscale and enhance feature wasn't working for the last couple of days. I think they've just been overwhelmed with new users. And with all these new AI image generation programs out there, I think it's best for drawing inspiration, building mood boards, and just having a little fun. You're still gonna get some weird things going on with people, and I have yet to see AI really know how to integrate text into the images, but I'm sure that'll change in the near future. Until then, we're gonna pay some bills by telling you about Squarespace. We've been Squarespace customers since 2013, way before this YouTube channel started. We currently pay for four Squarespace websites and striptriviapod.com is one of them. If you're not raking in money hand over fist with your podcast, you might wanna check out Squarespace's new member areas where you can sell access to gated content like video classes, digital downloads, or newsletters. You can also showcase your photography with Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Customize the layout, the look, and the feel to make it your own. Also, you can schedule and book appointments straight from your website. You need to log in that client meeting? Well, they can easily see your availability and reschedule if needed, making your life a heck of a lot easier. Here's what our new podcast website looks like, and if you're in the market for a new website or domain, we'll save you 10% when you go to squarespace.com slash mango street, or just click the link down in the description or use the code MangoStreet at checkout. The options are virtually endless. Sounds like there's just three options. Okay, there's three options. <laughs>